Hello friends, quantitative aptitude. So now we'll see in this video clock problems. In any exam or any exam related to the aptitude or quantitative aptitude, any competition exams. So regarding clock problems, there are mainly three type of questions will arise. The first one is finding the image of the given time in the mirror. So for example, if they'll give certain time, now 4.45. This time, how it is uh, look like in the mirror. If you see the mirror image, so what time will show? Any time is given, we can see the time in reflection in mirror. Now, second type of questions: finding the time between the minute and and hour and in the angle is 0, 90, 180, any angle. So between, for example, one small example between two to three in 2 hours to 3 hours in between at what time the angle is 90 degrees or at what time the angle is 45 degrees or 180 degrees so that type of questions and third type is finding the angle between the two hands at any time now for example at 240 what is the angle between the minute hand and hour hand in 240 time so this mainly these two three type of questions will arise in any exams which is related to the clock problems so before going this let us see the, some properties of this clock the basic properties say so let me explain first then we will see that uh, three type of questions the first property is the total clock is exactly divided into 12 equal parts So, which is e divided into 12 equal parts. The total angle of the circle is 360 degrees. Nothing but the angle of the, uh, this clock also 360 degrees. So, total angle is 360 degrees. First one. Now, second is which is divided into 12 equal parts. divided into 12 equal parts okay now every part is equals to 30 degrees see here now this is 12 now up to here is 1 1 2 now this angle is 30 degrees so every part is exactly equal to 30 degrees because 360 divided by 12 so every part which is equal to 30 degrees now based on this we'll see the minute and minute and in one hour It rotates 360 degrees right now same minute and in one minute when complete one hour it rotates 360 degrees so you start from 12 again rotate to the till 12 it's 360 degrees same minute and in one minute so one minute it will come to just this is equal to five parts within inside five equal spaces so this total is 30 then 30 divided by 5 is again 6 degrees 30 divided by 5 is 6 because this small part again so if you observe here now this is 12 to again next to first minute totally 30 degrees if you divide into five equal parts that is equal to every in six degrees so a minute hand in one minute it takes six degrees now let us see our hand how it takes same in one hour 
if you observe one hour one hour it takes to 30 degrees because if it is in 12 it will come to 1 if it is 1 it will come to 2 now that is 30 degrees so in one hour that means for 60 minutes it takes 30 degrees so similarly in one minute again into 60 parts that is 30 divided by 60 that is equals to half degree now there is a relative speed is 6 minus half because in one minute in one minute minute and takes 6 degrees in the same one minute hour and rotates half degree so 6 minus 1 by 2 is 5 and half that is 11 by 2 degree is the relative speed so just we need to remember this this will apply in this uh, three concepts this is the basic data now let us come to our three points first one is we need to find the image of the given time in the middle now okay for example now 445 how it looks in the image in the middle shortcut method let me explain to find out image of any time the image is the reflection of reflection in the mirror we need to just subtract from 1160 so this is a 12 hours so 12 hours you can't subtract so we can take 11 hours 11 hours 60 minutes no previous problem you have to find out the image is 445 okay 445 1160 minus 445 10 minus 5 15 and this is 7 so 715 so 445 is exactly reflects to the 715 so you can see the diagram also <coughs> now two circles one is 445 one is 715 will take four 30 40 45 so it will show like this so on average I'm taking this is 445 now 715 7 15 Okay, this minute hand and hour hand just to be changes. The, they'll change their own positions. Now this is 7.50. So if you see in the mirror, image it will come. So only thing we need to remember, from 11.60 you have to subtract. Now for example, 7.30. So this image is 11.60 minus 7.30. 0, 3, 4, 5. So 430 and 730 are reflex to each other, like in, uh, reflex in the mirror. So first topic, just from 1160, if you subtract, so you'll get from this. Only thing you need to remember, from 1160, we need to subtract any angle. Now see the second one. Finding the time between the minute and an hour and when the angle is 6, 0, 90, 180, any angle. So between within two hours, we need to find out particular angle. let me take one question between 2 to 3 at what time the angle is 0 degrees that means at what time they will coincide between 2 to 3 the minute and and hour and what time they will coincide so let us see the solution I will tell direct shortcut trick first is 2 now take 2 into 30 plus 0 because 0 degrees 2 into 30 degrees because every minute so 12 to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 so up to 2 hours 
so 2 into 30 by 0 divided by find out this is the relative speed 2 into 30 is 60 plus 0 60 by find of 11 by 2 so 16 to 2 by 11 120 by 11 11 so 11 10 is a 110 10 10 by 11 that means 2 hours 10 10 by 11 at this time the two ands the minute and and hour and will be coincide just we need to multiply 30 and add that particular angle how much is given same question let us take for example one more example 2 okay between 3 to 4 between 3 am to or 4 am between 3 to 4 at what time the angle between minute and and hour and is 180 degrees so they will straight each other so at what time exactly they will be each other so we need to take first to 3 here this 3 is given just solution for this is 3 into 30 degrees plus 180 we should take because 180 degrees we need to take in between by find out 3 into 30 90 plus 180 270 by 11 by 2 that is 270 into 2 by 11 reciprocal it 0 540 by 11 so 540 divided by 11 11 4 is a 44 10 0 11 9 is a 99 1 so 49 1 by 11 So we'll write in mixed fractions. That means three o'clock, I mean three hours, forty-nine minutes, forty-nine one by eleven minutes. At this time, exactly they will have the each other. This is minute and and hour and angle exactly equal to one eighty degrees. Okay. <coughs> now any question is given. We this is the process. We just multiply into 30 the particular first number and add the angle now one simple note let me explain in this for example the sum is cross 360 if this value okay for example if now this is 270 got in case the sum is if it is cross 360 degrees then we have to subtract instead of addition we need to subtract for that now for example okay 7 between 7 to 8 so at what time the angle is 180 degrees then 7 into 30 plus 180 by 5 and half 5 and half is the relative speed 7 into 30 is 210 plus 180 by 11 by 2 so now this is 0 9 3 390 into 2 by 11 now this is a wrong method so we should not take more than 360 if the sum is more than 360 in this case so we should not calculate this now this calculation is 210 minus 180 by 11 by 2 if is any problem is crossing 360 degrees just to subtract that value 210 minus 180 that is 30 into 2 by 11 so 60 by 11 60 divided by 11 
then 5 is a 55 and remain this way. So 5, 5 by 11. So 7 o'clock, 7 hours, 5 minutes, 5 by 11. At that time, exactly the angle between 7 to 8 is 180 degrees between the minute and an hour and 7, 5. You can guess also. So this is 7 and around this 5. So 180 degrees. If it is 6, 7, 12 and 1. So it's more than so exactly we'll get it so this is a simple technique and process so you just remember for this in case if it's more than 360 just add or more than 360 just to subtract any angle the same process any angle is given you can method now the third one is important in this finding angle between the two hands at any time if there will be particular time we can find out the angle We take at particular time how to find out the angle. Now, for example, at 3 o'clock, the angle is 90 degrees, but same at 3 5. Now, this is 3 it's 12. So 1, 2, at 3, 5, minute and is at 1, but R and is just little down of the 3, because this is a straight line, to 3, little down it takes, but how much down it is, that means a simple method, up to here is 30 degrees, and for the remaining is 30 degrees, but extra, this is coming 5 minutes down, According to the previous method, in one hour, so if you see this hour and in one minute it rotates, it takes half degree within one minute. Now here is crossing the five minutes, so five into one by two, that is two and half. So this thirty plus thirty sixty and two and half, so sixty two and half degrees at 3 5 so instead of remembering all these things just to let me explain a small shortcut and trick so if they'll give time for example they are giving 640 then we need to take 6 minus at 640 the minute the hour and is at 6 o'clock 6 place number and minute and is at 8 so just to do subtract this, you get a 2. 2 into 30 plus or minus 40 by 40 into 1 by 2. Because 40 minutes is rotating. So why I am taking plus or minus is here. In any clock. So just listen here carefully. Now in any clock, the minute hand and there is hour and and minute and if the minute and is cross that hour and then we need to subtract if it is not crossing we have to add because if this is coming and is crossing this if it is cross we need to just subtract and if it is not crossing we have to add that extra this now 68 2 into 30 60 640 so it's already crossing so we have to minus and 20 so it is 40 degrees at 640 it is having 40 degrees let us take one more example for example 335 at 335 find the angle between the minute hand and hour hand at 335 the hour hand is at 3 but minute hand is at 35 that is coming to the number 7 so this is already crossed it after 3 o'clock it is crossed so crossed means we have to subtract now 3 and for this is 7 3 minus 7 so you can take modulus 4 
4 into 30 because every 1 1 gap is equal to 30 degrees you have seen 4 into 30 now this is crossing already so because it's coming to 7 after 3 only it's 7 so minus 35 into 1 by 2 because 35 minutes it's already crossed so 35 into 1 by 2 it is 120 minus 35 by 2 so 120 minus 35 by 2 is 17 and off or 17.5 so from 120.0 17.5 need to subtract so 10 minus 5 and just you can go subtraction be 1 and 2 0 so just it will come around just oddly near to this value because when you are, whenever you are taking subtractions otherwise you can try it in mixed fractions most of the questions they are given mixed fractions exactly instead of this so we can take 17 and off from 120 minus 17 and off degree so we just will come 102 and off so 102.5 102.5 or 102 and of degree between angle between at 335 pm or am or pm anytime because 12 hours time so this is the so for the third method is the shortcut is this so last example let me explain taking for example at 920 so at 920 the hour and is near to 9 and minute and is at 4 number 4 the numbers you have to see so 9 minus 4 is 5 now 5 into 30 9 20 so it is not crossing so in that case we need to add 20 into 1 by 2 that minutes how much minutes it will take 150 plus 20 into half is 10 so 160 degrees at 9.20 the angle between minute and an hour okay these are the main three important uh, concepts we'll use for the clock problems hope you understood everything so please subscribe this channel because if you did not subscribe subscribe it this uh, channel is completely for educational com uh, educational videos only we'll upload this thanks for watching bye bye